Hello my YouTube viewers, my name is Ganvius and welcome to Ghost Caught on Camera 5 Scary Ghost Videos. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'll be reacting to ghost videos, so I mean, yeah, welcome to day 7 of 31 Days of Fear, by the way, 2021, I, I, I literally almost forgot what day it is, so anyways, <laughs> it's late, I'm tired, let's get creeped out, the lights are off. And is this going to be scary? Is this going to be cringy? We don't know yet. So anyways, without further ado, here we go. Do you believe in ghosts, by the way? Let me know in the comments down below. For me, it uh, it varies. I don't ghost know. Ghost caught on camera. Okay. Ghost chases dogs. Uh oh. This clip went viral after being posted to the video site LiveLeak with the caption, Ghost chases two dogs. Okay. The original post reads, this girl was dog sitting for a family friend when she recorded this video to send to the owner to show that the dogs are doing well. She right. was alone at the time of the recording and did not notice anything strange until she read his response. Get out of the house and call 911. What? You see, when the owner received the video, he noticed a strange figure lurking in one of the rooms at the end of the hallway. Oh, poor puppy. Apparently puppies. not seen by the girl filming the video. The image almost looks like a freakish shadowy form charging down the hallway. Wait, what? Oh, back there? That's literally a person. That's literally a person. That's not a ghost. That's literally... The dogs are greeting... The girl who came home. They're not running from this guy. This guy was already home with the dogs. And they probably heard the noise of the girl arriving. And they're like, she's home. Our mom is home or something. This is a person. That's not a ghost. <laughs> if this was a ghost, these dogs will be freaking dashing away from this dude. And crying. Or have the tail between their legs. They'll be scared shitless. They'll be dashed. They'll be hiding somewhere. But. The, this, they, this is a person. This is a person. You see him turn the corner. This is. What? Unless I'm missing but something. What do you think it is? A person. Know in the comments below. It's a literal dude. Of course, the camera's Stanley garbage. Hotels guess. That's a dude. The Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado, may be best known as the inspiration for the Stephen King book, The Shining. Oh, it's really? The story of a man That's named cool. Jack I didn't know Torrance that. who goes insane from yeah. the influence of the ghostly residents of a haunted hotel. God, I love The Shining. Classic. He actually came up with the idea for the book after having one of the worst nightmares of his life while sleeping in the Stanley Hotel's supposedly haunted room, 217. Well, it turns out that Stephen King isn't the only one to have been spooked while staying at the Stanley Hotel. Jessica Martinez Mosling took this picture at the Stanley Hotel, which appears to show the image of a ghostly little girl descending oh. a staircase. There were no young girls on the tour or staying at the Stanley Hotel when the picture was taken. And this isn't the first okay. time one of the Stanley supernatural occupants has supposedly been caught on camera. Picture Let's was taken. go back. This, it just looks like it's photoshopped. I mean, I, like it just, uh, it just doesn't look real. I mean, it could be real. Let's treat it like it's a freaking, it's real, okay? Let's say it's real. Um, yeah, it's, t yeah. Why is that stretched? What's this, you notice how stretched it is? But looking at this from a, like a, it's a real standpoint, it definitely, sure, whatever. And this isn't the first uh, time. doesn't look real. Supernatural <laughs> I'm trying to convince, been... I'm sorry. I'm trying to convince myself, like, okay, look, let's look at, okay, damn bug on my monitor. Jesus, you piece of crap. Anyways, no, I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to convince my help, myself to see it as it being real, but I just can't. So I got nothing. <laughs> I got, I literally got nothing. I got nothing to say like, oh, this is real. It, it looks, it looks so photoshopped. Caught on camera. Just one year before, Henry Yuan captured this photo of what appears to be the ghostly apparition of a woman and child, also standing on the hotel stairs. Hmm. Interesting. Watcher at the window. 
Reddit user Skinna555 says that when he was growing up in his parents' home, he would have ultra-realistic sleep paralysis dreams, where he would see a faceless person peering into his bedroom window, with their hands cupped to the glass. So Skinna555 posted about an odd occurrence while staying over at his childhood home while his house was being remodeled. One night, while he was alone in the house, he decided to post several videos to Snapchat, showing his friends the three Australian native birds that his parents kept as pets. I'd say the first one of my parents' little How birds. convenient that the window is. This guy? How, I'm sorry, but how convenient that the window is. It's not even all the way open or all the way closed. It's just, it's just perfect. It's perfectly windowed for you to peek through. It seems like it's staged. Is little Leo. I don't know. He's a cockatiel. Listen, I'm, l l let me say this again. I'm not doubting that paranormal activity exists. I'm sure it does. Um, I'm sure because, you know, I've had friends who've, like, um, have, like, these in-depth stories that, you know, somewhat believable that paranormal, paranormal activity happened to them. And they would explain. Like, you can't... It's one of those things where you can't make it up even if you tried. It's, it's believable. But... I don't think, I think, I think the ghosts know when there's a camera, so they're not going to freaking do something stupid. Usually like those shows like Ghost Adventures and stuff, usually that's all staged and freaking, um, you know, or just, just staged in general, um, to like scare the viewer, but I don't, eh, I, I don't think there's actual freaking evidence out there. I think it's one of those things where you got experience for, your, you got experience it for yourself to know if ghosts freaking exist so um yeah i i don't know uh, i i really i really don't know is a but i know that so far i'm not too impressed with everything being shown oh and here i am with my good little why is his face blur and why are all the cameras always so shizzled Puffin. 15 minutes after Puffin. uploading his videos to snapchat he received a text message from one of his friends that read those birds are mad by the way, what the f was that in the window behind you in the last one? Hmm. Not knowing what his friend was referring to, he watched his Snapchat videos back several times. At first, he saw nothing. But then, in the third video, he saw it. Someone huh. or something appeared to be peering in at him through the screen door. Why is the quality always bad? That's another thing! That, this was 20... Oh my god, the damn bug won't go away! Screw off! Jesus Christ! Okay, no. Um, this is 2015. Is he recording with an iPod Mini? Not the touched. The, um... Did he get, like, the first video camera of 2020 or something? Or, not 2020. First video camera of the year 2000? And started recording... This is 2015. Look, the quality's got awful. Of course you can fake this, like... This odd face <laughs> is not visible earlier in the videos. Skinna555 says that the door leads to a fenced-in backyard that is only accessible via a locked gate. Furthermore, the hmm. part of the door that the face seems to be peering through is not glass, but a screen. Therefore, huh. the strange image could not be a reflection. Interesting. Skinna555 reported that nothing odd occurred during the rest of his stay at his parents' house. I am crapping Except my crappers right now. The backyard motion detector lights occasionally seem to just turn on for no reason. Suicide Bridge. Interesting. That's Aura interesting. MK2 is a YouTuber who basically posts helmet cam videos of some of his motorcycle rides. Probably not the best, but not videos. terrible. Okay. One night he was riding with friends across Colorado Street Bridge in Pasadena, California. The Looks bridge fun. is nicknamed Suicide Bridge because of the alarming number of incidents of people jumping from the bridge oh, and damn. attempted suicides. Shit. Boy, MK2 caught this strange footage during his ride. A smiling girl now. in a floral print dress seems to be standing all alone on Suicide Bridge. He circled back to see if the girl needed help, but mysteriously, she was nowhere to be found. And, and as you can see here, um, this girl right here um she's she's just standing there she's not walking she's just standing there okay. you can't really see it well on the camera but she was like wearing this flower dress and she was just standing there smiling 
Very little time had passed and it seemed nearly impossible that the girl could have exited the bridge so quickly, but she was gone. Another suicide off Pasadena's Colorado Street Bridge today. Hmm. Weeks later, Cora That's just weird. That's found this two-month-old article from the local paper, the Pasadena Star News. It seems that a young girl of around the same age had committed suicide from the oh, bridge no. just two Fuck, months dude. before this video was recorded. Damn it. So did Cora MK2 catch the girl's ghost on camera? Was this some strange prank? Or that... did the girl just exit the bridge really quickly before he was able to turn back? That's interesting. Footage remains a mystery. Huh. That's just interesting. And weird. Alicoya okay, ghost. number one. Here we go. The owner of the Alicoya Country so far, I haven't Gilbert crapped myself. Hampshire says that the old building has a dark past. I guess the building goes back to, uh, I heard last night, 1734. Well, they're saying that there's a 14-year-old uh, girl there with her dad. And um, we've been checking into that. And it seems to be that they were trampled by horses huh. earlier in the century. Oh, Jesus. In this unexplained CCTV footage, Heidi Boyd, an employee at the store, can be seen walking into the back room when suddenly a heavy glass serving dish cover flies off the counter and shatters on the floor. Huh. The hell? At first, Heidi is confused about where the sound of breaking glass came from. But after she sees it, she's more than a little freaked out. Just a prank. <laughs> Someone just got a string and just yanked it through was the wall. When the aired on the local news, many people suggested that the glass container's movement was nothing supernatural, but just a simple hoax. They said that the workers had probably run a fishing line through the yeah. store's window yeah, and there you yanked go. the glass cover off the serving dish. Maybe. Well, the only problem with that theory is that the store's windows are nailed shut. This window doesn't open. Despite attempts to debunk huh. the incident by the main paranormal society, so far no one has been able to explain the video. Uh, all right. So now, let's just say the cashier didn't put it all the way on. She just maybe in a hurry. Okay, let me pause. That's another thing, though. Objects randomly moving and being broken, or just moving in general. So, these ghosts, or whatever, demons, whatever you want to call them, um, spirits, they're, why would they freaking screw around? Wouldn't they grace you with their presence and try to speak to you? Do they want to free, what's with these damn bugs? Jesus Christ, it's only every time I record, good lord. <sighs> Anyways, why would they just want to screw around with you? And like break your garbage. That's that's the big question. Or move your crap all over the place. Um. So they're not like they're not trying to kill you. They're just being assholes. So <laughs> I don't know. I I never I don't understand it. I'm kind of in the middle, honestly. I'm sure, like I said, ghosts exist. I'm sure there's like. Um, you know, people obviously have their stories. It's one of those things that can't make that shit up. But at the same time, it being caught on camera, I think is nearly impossible. It's either that they make, they make the quality look so bad because there's little things that you can kind of see in freaking 4k. So if they make the quality absolute potato garbage, then of course it's going to like, be like, Oh my God, ghost. Um, and another, and because notice how that camera is not that good quality. So I'm sure there's like a trick behind it. Because I, I don't know. I, I, I really, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, that's all I got. I don't know. You just put it on like that. It's just weird how every single freaking ghost caught on camera is just either something just sitting there or you get like a freaking, like a heat wave movement. Or it's freaking items being broken or moved around. It's just the same cr crap over and over and over again with potato quality. So I don't know. Because the things that... One more, I'm sorry for keep pausing the video. But the things I've heard from a couple of my friends. They have full on freaking anime arcs going on with their ghost stories. They, they don't mention any of this happening. So they have this whole thing go on. Um... 
And they're, each story I hear from my different friends are different. I had like three friends who told me different stories about their personal experiences. And they don't mention items moving. They don't mention potato cameras. They don't mention any of that. So, <laughs> who knows? Okay, you're just wrecking the place. What are you doing? Hmm. Like, why would you do that? Ghost. Why would you do that? You're just being an asshole. You're just being an asshole, ghost. If you, if you're just being an asshole. If that's really you, ghost, and not a prank, you're just being an asshole. Jesus Christ! Or maybe the lady deserved that. <laughs> maybe it's her dead ex-boyfriend, and she's coming back, or he's coming back to break her favorite freaking glass. Why am I being? Why am I? I'm being an asshole now. <laughs> but anyways, no, this was fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, if you guys want more. Um, reaction videos, let me know in the comments down below. What should I react to? What spooky, scary stuff should I react to? And, um, yeah, creepy things. Should I react to, like, freaking aliens existing? Should I react to more ghost stories? Should I react to just more weird crap on general creatures or something? I don't know. You let me know in the comments down below. We got freaking... I can turn to math. Uh, 28, 29, 30. We got, uh, the... the 20... 24 days left. So if I say 6, 27, 20, 29, 30. Yeah, okay, I can count. <laughs> Big brain, lol. All right, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This is so stupid. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, peace out, guys. See you guys there. And yeah, bye, guys. See you guys soon.